So I'm Sonia Muscolor. I'm a taxation partner at Bentley's Accountants. I actually started my career as a tax lawyer. I then had the opportunity to work at the Australian Taxation Office. I then was asked to work at KPMG and that's really where my accounting and business advisory, including family business advisory, at kicked off. I love working with private businesses mainly and including up and coming businesses. My focus or my objective or style is to provide a really streamlined service with really sharp tax advice. I can make it really simple. A board of directors is just a group of individuals who bring two things for a business. One is, is governance and the other is not initiating strategy, but guiding strategy. When looking at what are some common pitfalls with when it comes to composition of the board, okay, so what are some skill sets we want on it? A business founder will look at, okay, I already do this. So let's say it's in IT, that's my specialist area. So let's bring in a finance person, let's bring in a international markets person and all of that. You wanna hopefully bring someone who can help take your business to the next step. There's the issue of picking people with high profile. High profile can be great can be great for networking, access to businesses, politicians, whatnot. But more important than access is substance. And you don't necessarily want someone on your board who has been involved in lots of businesses and whatnot, seemingly, but they don't actually have much substance behind them. We'll be focusing on, it's gonna sound very dry, but the financial and legal aspects of what a board brings to you. As a business, what do you want your board to deliver for you when it comes to strategy and governance that I identified before, but the financial and legal aspects of it? And therefore, what can you do to help them be able to do that for you? You've got the legal risks or obligations, let's say, that come um, with being a director. And then you have your things like to act with due care and diligence for the company. As a director, you need to be able to understand the financial information that's being presented, ensure it's complete, ensure the business can actually pay debts as they fall due. And there's some real consequences that, are, that may come into play if the director fails to do that, which we'll be discussing 